By the way, before we get into this, uh, oh, my boy. mother, I want you to know, who is oh, she's a, maybe the biggest Pitch Perfect fan a in the world. big fan. I love her for that. Thank yeah. you. We hate her for it. I mean, oh. not that we didn't love the movie, but she never stops. I mean, with the singing <laughs> and the watching. And I think she's going to love this one, too, though. She, yeah, she's yeah. excited for it. Is she, premiere wanted, tickets? You need premiere tickets? The, uh, yeah, okay. it's short. Would sure. you allow her at the premiere? <laughs> I, is she going to act like uh, the Yes. Movie? Okay. Whatever's I mean... bad, she's going to act like it. Yeah. <laughs> she will be like Jake Bird and Roy Moore. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Brum. This uh, premise of this film, yeah. which is, again, her Star Wars trilogy, it really is, is you guys, uh, well, not you guys, but the a cappella group. The Bellas. The, the Bellas yeah. go on a USO tour. Yes, formerly of Barden, now of Life, the Bellas. Yes, they go on a USO tour, which, you know, I didn't direct this movie, but I'm, I'm the producer, which <laughs> partially means I'm responsible for figuring out what the story is going to be. Right. And um, in 2015, uh, I went on a USO tour with the Joint Chief of Staff, General Dunford, who is still our Joint Chief of Staff. Where did you guys go? And we went to Afghanistan, Bahrain, Italy, Djibouti, Africa, and um, Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany. Did you enjoy that trip? It was life-changing. It was amazing. Really? And in what so ways? so fun, and you get to be with... You get to be with our troops. You know, we're in mm -hmm. one of the longest wars in American history. Right. And I think it's really important. And they're to... very excited to see you there, <laughs> right? I mean, you never feel better about yourself than going over. I, I, I felt like it was the least I could do as an yeah. American citizen, like go and, and especially at the holidays, you know they're not going to get to go home and be with their families. So we get to bring a little bit of American, you know, fun over to them. What did you do? Like, who'd you go with? And then what did you guys do? Uh, Chris Daughtry was, oh, yeah, the, okay. uh, was the headliner. I was sort of the host of the show with my friend David Wayne. I was meant to go with John Michael Higgins, who played, who was in that who's clip in with clip? me. Yeah. yeah, it was sort of going to be John and Gail host the USO, and um, at the last minute he couldn't go, so I brought David. Because he doesn't love his Mer America as much <laughs> as David. <laughs> No, I, oh. I think he got a movie job. I see, um, okay. <laughs> but David, I thought long and hard about who I could bring that could kind of, you know, hang and do, frankly, like parlor tricks. And David can, like, solve a Rubik's Cube in 60 seconds and does magic. And, I, and he's really funny and is a stand-up comedian. And, this is what he did for the troops? Yeah. He solved a Rubik's Cube? In 60 seconds. <laughs> Did they beat did him up or things. did they let him get away with it? He did other things. <laughs> um, but honestly, the most the most fun you have is you get to interact and sort of really I understand have a photograph how of you. the truth, like what, oh yeah. In really interacting here yeah. with, with the. Uh... Well, okay, so yeah, our guys are, they're big guys. Yeah, sure. And uh, they really like to work out. I mean, this is in, I believe this is in Djibouti, which oh, is. Oh, no, no, uh... Djibouti's a little bit lower. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Djibouti. Yeah. Booty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a diagram in the back. We'll go over it. Okay. And, um, it, and we, uh, we started after a while because we met so many guys that were like huge. We started, tr um, our parlor trick became guessing how much they could bench press based on the size of their pecs. Really? Yeah. And, and I could literally tell like somebody who was a 280 and somebody who was like a 420. You know? How would you evaluate Like, them? that guy's like a three, that guy's well over 300. Would you have them take off their shirts and then you would evaluate? You could just tell. I mean, no offense, but like, yeah. you know, like, they're just wider, well, I, you I know? Gonna... They look like the Hulk. <laughs> I'm, you know, it's amazing. But you, can you tell all ranges of people what they can bench, or can you just tell? No, them? I, yeah. I, you have to have benched a little bit for me. Like, I, I you're, what are you, uh, you're under 200 for sure. Oh, I don't even, I don't, I just do the bar. <laughs> Yeah. You supposed to put things on that? I didn't realize that. Yeah. It should come with them. It's really ridiculous. And, okay, so you go over there. Yeah. Was it da did you ever feel like you were in danger? Yeah, well, no, we were in definitely in, I mean, we were traveling. I mean, besides him dropping you on your head. We were traveling with, you know, the highest ranking military official in the United States. And so we had a lot of security. We had a C-17 plane fly behind Air Force Two that we were on and travel with us. And um, when we got to Afghanistan, um, we, they, they told us, you know, it, we're going to do a, like a, a, a maneuver to make sure that you can't get hit by like missiles. Yeah, right. I mean, just hearing that sentence, we were like, we're what? What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then they, uh, they do this like spin thing with the 747. I mean, it's not like we're on some little plane. And they spin down and land. And then when you take off, 
it's like a rocket. Like they want to get high as fast as possible. So they're like, it's going to be a quick up. And no joke, it's as if this seat like went backwards. And we were like, wow, OK, we are going. Did you get sick? Um, I didn't get sick, but they we, I was warned to keep the baggie like ready. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Honestly, the scariest thing that happened was when we got to Afghanistan, I forgot to turn my phone off. And then it said, welcome to Afghanistan on my phone. And I thought, I don't need the government knowing that I went to Afghanistan. Like, I was like, oh, no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing that made me weirdly the most nervous. I would have been most scared of the roaming charges, but yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought. Impressive that uh, I had coverage. We're going to circle back to you inviting my mother to the premiere because that won't go forgotten. I know I will get a phone call tonight. I, 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 it will happen. It's very good to see you, Elizabeth. Thanks, everyone. Pitch Perfect 3 opens December 22nd. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't, click subscribe. This invisible hamster will die.